I always tell my students, have to is the same grammar as have. So many, many students understand have, I have, or, or you have, or we have. Example, I have a car, right? You have a car, we have a car, they have a car. Well, have to is the same, but have to and an infinitive verb. So example, I have to apply for school. Negative, well, we say I don't have a car. So have to, I don't have to apply for school. You don't have to apply for school, we don't have to, and they don't have to apply for school. Questions, do you have a car? Well, same thing, do you have to apply for school? And the past tense, well, have, we say I had a car. I had a car. Well, same thing with have to. I had to apply for school. Now it's past tense. I had to apply, not applied. No, we need an infinitive verb. I had to apply for school. Now he, she, and it, we don't say have, we say has. So he has a car. She has a car. Well, have to, we say, he has to apply for school. She has to apply for school. And negative, he doesn't have a car, right? So same thing, he doesn't have to apply for school. And questions, does he have a car? Does she have a car? Well, same grammar. Does she have to apply for school? Does he have to apply for school? And finally, the past tense, he or she had a car. Well, same thing with have to. He or she had to apply for school. So this is the form of have to. And remember, if you understand the form of have, well, the form for have to is the same. If you'd like to practice this more, click on the link under the video.